Good evening, guys. Look, it's Tuesday night. Yeah, Tuesday night, and I just walked back into the house. Uh, the wife and I, we went out for a little bite to eat. Uh, nobody felt like cooking tonight, so you know where we went? We went to Taco Bell. Yeah, Taco Bell. What's wrong with Taco Bell? Look, the food is pretty good. It's cheap, and they got, uh, you know, the choices are unlimited. And, uh, you know... It's kind of like, you know, Chinese food, like an hour from now with Chinese food, what happens? You're hungry again, right? And when you eat Mexican food in an hour from now, like, yeah, like what happens an hour from now? Like Pepino, you must be loaded with that kind of stuff. So Pepino, man, when you eat your Mexican food, what happens to you in about an hour? Well, anyway. But you know what? I, I love Mexican food. I love the enchiladas and the quesadillas and the, I get the maxi melts and the burritos or whatever. But you know what? And Taco Bell's been around a long time, right? But I notice that now when you buy the food, you know, and again, it's cheap, guys. I understand. But the problem is when you when I open up the burrito or the taco, and there's no freaking meat in it. It's, I mean, it's unbelievable. It's like a little Adam Ha turd in the freaking thing, you know? And uh, I don't get it, you know. Uh, I, I like to see the food exactly the way they show it to you when uh, they have it on the commercial or whatever. Am I right? It's like Dunkin' Donuts. Everybody's got Dunkin' Donuts by them, and I'm sure you've all have been to a Dunkin' Donut. Now, I'm a little older than most of you guys, but when I used to go into a Dunkin' Donuts and get a jelly donut, when you used to put your mouth around one end of the jelly donut, what happened to the jelly? Yeah, it spurred it out to the other freaking end, right? That's how good a freaking jelly donut was. Nowadays, go into a Dunkin' Donuts, get a freaking jelly donut, and tell me when you open it up or you put your mouth around it, what do you, what do you got in the middle? If it's this freaking much, it's a lot. Look, if they want to screw you on the jelly, at least give you an option. You know, pay more for a freaking jelly donut, so there should be jelly donut A with no jelly and jelly donut B for a little more money, and you get what you want, right? But look, let's stop the ranting. Oh, by the way, the wife and I were talking. She says, where do you want to go on vacation this year? I says, I don't know where you want to go. Don't matter to me. She says, let's go to Guatemala. I says, Guatemala? Where the frick is Guatemala? I never heard of Guatemala. You guys know what Guatemala is? But, she says, yeah, it says, it's something place we've never been, and it's somewhere down by the equator. I says, what's an equator? Do you guys know what an equator is? So she says to me, yeah, it's like a, a line in the middle of the world, in the middle of the hemisphere, that divides the, the north and the south. I says, like the Mason-Dixon line? She says, something like that. But, you know, but look, guys, I, every question that I asked, I was opening up a can of worms. So Russo might be in Guatemala this summer. Who knows? Anyway, with all this bullshit, and what did I waste? Three freaking minutes of your time, and I ain't showing you nothing. The hottest product around. The hottest freaking product around. Prison basketball. Can you believe it? This is $300 a box now. It's the second box I did. I bought a box like three or four weeks ago. I paid like $200, $210, whatever. Now it's $300. It's the hottest thing around. So I'm breaking it. Yeah, there's, no, there's not going to be any more after this. I promise you that. Just too much money. Too much risk. But what the hell. Life is a risk. Life is a bitch, right? Let's try. I ain't going to show you everything. I mean, to show you the base cards, it doesn't matter. You got to look for the prisms and the autographs and the what have yous, you know? And uh, there are these Mojo refractors. Like here's a Tyson Chandler, but I don't know, it's a little dark in the room because it's dark outside. So all the windows are, or, you know, there's no light coming in. And these are numbered, the Mojos, excuse me, are numbered to 25. So this one's numbered to 25. Tyson Chandler, big freaking deal, okay? Now, I'm going to show you these, like, yeah, here's another pack. That was pack one. And you got different colors, and you got a couple, two, two autographs here, you know. This is a hobby. There's retail, and they got everything in the blues and triple colors and all that. So, anyway. See here, like, here's Alonzo Ball, an emergent. But there's different variations, you know. There's the silvers and the golds and parallels. Now, here's, here's a nice. I mean, it's not numbered, but it's a LeBron James like refractor, LeBron James, it's like an atomic, I don't know how much it is, but it's a nice looking card, I like LeBron James, and right behind him was a Carl Anthony Towns, and this is a red, but the reds aren't numbered, it's like a red shimmer, 
Carl Anthony Towns. I again, it's a little dark, excuse me, but it gives you a gist here. Just you know what a gist is. So anyway. All right, here, next pack. Uh, you know, Kristaps, Bazinga's base. Big deal. Put them in a dollar box. And somebody will ask it for 50 cents. So I always say my dollar box is, ends up being selling for 50 cents. I guess it's better than going to Guatemala, right? All right, let me see if there's anything here worth to show you. Now I got a purple coming up. And this is of Skull Labasseri. And this is number to 75, Skull. But it's not a rookie card. His rookie card was last year, but it's a purple. All right? So, let's see if there's anything else. Christian F Cristiano Fellatio with the Bulls. All right, no big deal. It's $300 a box, guys. 300 freaking bucks. What do you, what would you buy if you had $300 right now? Would you buy this? I don't think so. All right, here is, now here, here's a De'Aaron Fox Emergent. This is like the Blonzo Ball, but this is numbered. No, it's not numbered, but it's one of those prism type refractors. Not silver, it's got a little more motion in the ocean kind of thing. So that's nice, even though he's not doing all that great now, he's one of the top guys. And this is the time to buy him, so if you're into basketball and you like the Aaron Fox, get him. Okay, next pack. This will go quick, guys, so, because I only got a few more. Here's my guy, Frank Nicolini, you know, Frank Nicolini and Nick Nick's Emergent. Here is a Rodney in the Hood. This is another one of those, like, prism type not silvers, okay? Silvers are just plain refractor. And here's a Tyler Eulis red, I think this is here. Yeah, again, not numbered, but a red, red refractor. And so far, guys, I'm sucking wind. I mean, as far as there might be a return on the money, but I got six more packs here. Maybe we don't end up going to Guatemala this year. All right, and then they got, like, here's a LeBron James regular. See, just the base card. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe I should have waited to make this video another time because it's a little dark. Larry Bird, Fundamentals. Yeah, sleeve it up, put it in a dollar box. They got coach cards. Now, this is a nice card, guys. I mean, again, it's, as I said, the Aaron Fox. This is number to 99, okay? But he's got to get there yet. This is one of these, like, blue atomic. You know, it's got all this, like, special kind of little... Whatever, but this is a good card. This is a good card, number to 99, okay? Trust me on that. Is it 99? Yeah, looks like it's 71 and 99. So that's a good card, trust me. But not now. Wait until the Aaron Fox shows his true colors. Now, where's my autographs? Buddy Heal, Bradley Beals, Ed Davis. Is this an autograph here? I think so. Hold on. Yeah, big deal. I'll show you in a second. I mean, it's a good player, but you know, here's a Chris Stops. Again, one of those parallel. It's not a silver. It's a. It's got like a little different kind of like things to it. Here, Julius Randle of the Lakers autograph. It's a good ball player, but who cares? This card maybe is a five dollar card, maybe ten bucks. I don't even think so. But, but Julius Randle, he's a good player, right? Look at the stats. Look at L.A. Okay. All right. Here, let's see. James Harden, Fundamentals. Here is a Lucas Nerigola. I don't know who it is. This is a Lucas Nerigola Red. But big deal. Let's leave it up. Dollar box. And I got a base rookie of Kyle Kuzma. Kyle Kuzma. He's one of the hotter guys. I wish that was a silver refractor. It goes for about $150 for a silver refractor. Three more packs, guys. Okay, nothing. DeMar DeRozan, Trevor Booker, Josh Hart. All right, here is a, this is a good one too. See, guys, this is a good one. Hold on, hold on. Dennis Smith Jr., he's one of the top guys. This is number to 199. It's the blue. Dennis Smith Jr., good card. There's some, you, you wouldn't think what those cards go for, but they do. So, you see, you guys, when I get off this freaking technology of the, the I'm going to add up all the cards and tell you what I think I got is it the Aaron Fox emergent and here is a Jason Smith Jason Smith 
number to 199 a blue big deal jason smith 50 cent box two more packs guys so yeah so far i got a couple of decent cards but again did i make 300 dollars i don't know and angela rustin here's a kobe bryant fundamentals fundamentals kobe bryant no big deal but all right here is a vince carter but the red Vince Carter, is this number? No, but it's Vince Carter. He was my man. He was one of my, old, my all-time favorites, Vince Carter. This guy's still playing. 40 years old. Can still jump through the freaking roof. All right, last pack, guys. So I didn't get no lines of balls. And I got another autograph. See, this is the silver, guys. It's just a Marco Bellinelli. But it's a silver. It's no, like, lines. It's just a silver parallel. Hold on. Broccoli Rob, Brandon Ingram. Okay, here is my second autograph. Big freaking deal. And my Knicks, Tim Hardaway Jr., $5 card. Big deal. So the two autographs were for hunger. But then I got a John Collins of the Hawks. He's not bad. This is number 49, 5 of 49. So orange. He's not doing all that bad for the Hawks. You know, they, I bet you look, he's probably, this is probably a $30 card. You don't realize, you know. But anyway, guys, like I said, what I got to do is go all through these cards, add up what I think I could get to for them reasonably. And if I can get to $300, you know what? Yeah, yeah, I'll be a freaking happy camper. All right, so see you in Guatemala. Ciao.